Welcome to Decentro Report coverage of the C-Cubed Crypto Conference here in Berlin. I'm with Marcus Jostock, the co-founder of the Arxum project. Thank you so much for being on the show, Marcus. Yeah, thanks for inviting me to an interview. This is really a great place to be today. Yeah, so um, I got to be honest, this project is not flash at all. It's, you know, your <laughs> yeah. target market are factories yeah. and these kind of projects can very easily slip under the radar, but Absolutely. but not for me, and that's why I'm here because I see tremendous potential in this project, oh, and uh, I really want to talk to you about what you guys have to offer. So let's just show people what you have. So what we currently yeah. have is this um, IoT device. Um, yeah, let's start with this one. So this is an artifact that is already available. It's running. Oh, so it's not prototype. This is a produced version that people can buy this is a version um, that people can buy okay um, final version uh, we're going in series now with that um, so this is quite a complex piece of technology there are three uh, printed cardboards in here circuits three controllers display um, okay let's, very let's, secure yeah let's not get too carried away oh, sorry, let, sorry. let's let's I'm tell sorry. people I'm what sorry. it actually <laughs> does yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know you love the machine. Yeah, I love the I technology. I love it too. Yeah. I, I, I'm the technology so guy. So what does it do? Why do you love it? Um, actually, this device, this device can be inserted into production machines. So, and actually very deeply rooted into the production machine. Initially, it has been developed to execute pay-per-use uh, models for uh, OEM production machines. So, you know... Sorry, you, the what is OEM? Uh, original Equipment Manufacturer. Okay, thank you. So... Um, that the, the, the user of the machine could buy a cheap, a high quality model for a cheap price and pay whatever feature he uses. So that was the reason why we inserted a lot of cybersecurity features in this device. And okay, so, so just, just yeah. hold on a second. Um, so the device can be installed into uh, manufacturing machines. Absolutely. So what does it do though? You install it for what purpose? For, in the context of Arxum, um, we install it to capture events and sensory data in that machine and transact this data and these events directly to the blockchain. In fact, we have done this in a, in a demo application, which is uh, almost ready, will be uh, published by the end of the month on a publicly accessible website, and you can watch it, how this machine actually controls a um, beer coaster production process, and you can live follow how it transacts or inserts transactions on the blockchain as the production process unfolds. Okay, so can you give me a real world example? Because a lot of people watching will have never even been in a factory. Um, I have, but give me a real world example of a sensor that does a specific function that would feed data into the machine for the blockchain? It's not only one sensor. Well, uh, just let's talk about one example. Uh, an yeah, example and I know you can hook you know, up many can, sensors, but can, yeah. Um, actually, it, it, it interacts with the production machine. Yeah. And uh, what is an essential problem today in manufacturing is that customer, uh, companies want to offer to their customers, like um, um, consumers, like really end consumers, customized products. You know, you customize shirts, shoes, whatever, devices. And in order to do that at a decent price, they have to route this order directly through uh, to the production machine and the product back again. Mm -hmm. um, if there's too much manual intervention, that's going to be too expensive. So um, this device inserted in the machine will kind of receive directly um, the specification to be produced. Let's take a concise example. For instance, you want to buy um, a customized, personalized shoe where the damping of the soles is exactly matching your left foot, your right foot, you're walking like on, like on clouds. So um, you walk on the pressure mat, we take the foot profile, pressure profile, and you send the, the, the pressure profile file directly to this, through this machine into a 3D printer. Okay. So, and the device declares, okay, I received it, transacted. So you get the security, okay, I... Uh, my, my, my order has been confirmed. Then it produces the thing, maybe inserts even an RFID tag and ID. So and then it transacts this ID belonging to you 
has been manufactured on that machine. So you have a proof of ownership. And then it transacts, for instance, um, finishing the, 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 the production. So the next step in manufacturing, the next, uh, the shoe manufacturer who will receive the sole to be inserted into the shoe, um, knows, okay, that's the next step. Um, he's ready to go for the, for the next step in manufacturing. Also, with, these, uh, with the, the ArcSum network, we have a smart contract who will actually automatically trigger like the transport order for your finished printed sole to be transported right to the next true manufacturer when he says, okay, I'm done, this is transacted into the smart contract, who then again triggers the next transport order of your finished pair of shoes to the shop where you ordered it so you can pick it up like the next day or it's sent to you at home. Okay, so outside of custom manufacturing, can this device be used in large-scale manufacturing where you're pumping out 10,000 pieces of one, one item a day? Absolutely. Yeah? Absolutely. It, it seems like it's built for measuring tolerances. Is that... Is that no, the measurement itself is... Oh, no, no, sorry, sorry, not measuring, the t recording, recording the tolerances. Absolutely, yeah. that's one of the options. So yeah. you can use multiple functions that you can apply uh, with this device and with the whole uh, context and, and Arxum network. Let's take uh, an industrial manufacturer um, who has um, a consortium of, of, of suppliers and he wants to know what actually is happening. When is the delivery of the next batch of a thousand pieces due? Uh, are there problems in the manufacturing process? Have the tolerances been kept? Uh, have there been problems with the machines? Um, if he has got an agreement uh, with the suppliers, all this can be transacted into this smart, pro smart contract, one for each production order. This is maybe why uh, the, the, the project is a, bit, a little bit running under the radar. Uh, it's really an exciting business and an exciting business environment where we're active because there's a huge uh, momentum in digitalization in uh, industrial companies, manufacturing companies. And there's a huge investment, I think $20 billion until 2020, as uh, some consulting agencies predict. So um, the market is huge, but it is a B2B thing that we are doing here. Okay, that's cool. So um, I just want to be clear, this, this device is taking off-chain data and bringing it onto a blockchain. That's correct, yeah? So to a certain extent, yes, it is. Uh, it can act, for instance, like a soft, like a hardware oracle. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what, what I want to talk about. Exactly, yeah, yeah. it is a, a kind of hardware oracle because in there is a, a very secure element, a crypto processor that uh, has secure private keys that cannot physically not be extracted and all that. So, it the device can take the sensory data and immediately without pushing it to a cloud, some database that can be attacked, immediately it can transact this on the blockchain. The attack vector that remains is kind of the one meter or three foot of wire between the device and the sensor. But that would mean you have to have physical access uh, to this uh, machine. And we did everything possible to protect the machine, the device from uh, intrusion. So from my knowledge of manufacturing, uh, at the industrial level, these companies will look at every quarter of a cent they can save, even less, because when you're producing hundreds of thousands of items, yeah. uh, it all really adds up for savings. So uh, I see this device as being becoming a instrumental tool for manufacturers to really tweak their processes to make them as efficient as possible and as transparent as possible. Yes and to ensure the flow of data between uh, parties that are involved Absolutely. is as seamless as possible. Am I correct? You are correct. That's fantastic. <laughs> and uh, you I got absolutely, it. <laughs> absolutely correct. And by the way, theoretically, they could do it already today with exist existing technologies. Uh, if they want to uh, install a purely digital process with all their suppliers, um, they would have to integrate on an ERP level. But that would mean that they would have to integrate like 20 different ERP systems with their own. And that is 20 different e uh, IT integration projects. And we all know that is very costly. 
So we say, well, why do I do that? Let's take the integration part outside of the company, put it on the blockchain, one smart contract, you know, one ring to rule them all, bringing everybody in there, the suppliers, the assembler, the transport agents, the one who orders it, even if you want the end customer. And um, then we push this data into the companies to each uh, respective ERP system, manufacturing execution system, and we actually know how we do how to do that because we are coming from an industrial manufacturing background. What what uh, manufacturing background is that? So uh, Arxum is a spin-off of an existing company, and uh, that exists already for 30 years. Um, we are active in automation industry 4.0. We are integrating different automation system PLCs, manufacturing execution systems. So we have like. Uh, about uh, more than 100 years of experience in our companies when it comes to um, really tapping uh, the, the automation processes in a, in a real industrial factory. That's fantastic. I really personally like to find projects that uh, spring out of an already well-developed company. Yeah. So that's really cool. So is there going to be a token associated with this project? Exactly. There's, in order to run, to run this, this contract, you need uh, an AX token, AX, uh, which will be issued end of this quarter, um, May, June. Uh, we are in uh, final uh, um, fine-tuning of the, the instantiation. Um, and this token is available for sale um, in a public ICO at the end of the quarter. Okay, so end of quarter two, quarter two so having an ICO. Two. Are you going to do any pre-ICO funding? Um, yes. Um, if you're interested in, uh, in a placement, in a private placement. Yes. In a private placement, you can contact us. Um, there will be a two-stage public ICO, uh, a pre-ICO with uh, considerate discounts, and then the main ICO trading behind uh, for uh, the majority of the tokens. That's great. I am definitely interested in getting involved. Um, so it's a working product. Is it actually being used in any factories yet? Um, the device is active, actively running in that beer coaster factory that we have set up. Okay. Um, we I had some fantastic contacts here in this in this uh, C three conference. Oh, good. Uh, really, from aviation industry, from glass industry. Here. Uh, here. Okay. Yeah, there are people people coming around. Uh, and that is the fantastic here. So people with a crypto mind and who know what blockchain is, uh, but with an industrial background, they stop by and see the potential of this project because it's not a B2C thing. And so there are, there's uh, a huge potential in, in uh, getting the whole project up and running. That's fantastic. So you've got the beer coaster factory using the device already. Do you have any specific partnerships with uh, major manufacturers in the line or uh, any, any outside manufacturers that are willing to come in that uh, you've actually partnered with that you know are going to be using this system? So the, we have this, uh, the, the, the platform is minimally running and I mean seriously the ICO is to get the funding to get it the, the full-blown development. But uh, seriously we are in research cooperations publicly funded by the Federal Ministry of uh, Research and Development and, and uh, Education in Germany. And for instance, we, in there, in these corporations, we have three uh, large companies. One of them is, for instance, well-known Bosch. Uh, one is Zeiss, um, uh, with uh, which we are in talks and in integrating this device into the production. Um, there's a major manufacturer of grinding mills. Um, so we are covering really a, a broad spectrum of, of industrial applications. And uh, there, kind of the predecessor of this device is already uh, being applied. That's fantastic. So uh, for me, this year with my trading in particular, I'm looking for uh, institutionalized companies like yourself who have a lot of experience, who are now releasing their own token that will have a lot of usership. Uh, I'm very focused on usership from now. Uh, I think the speculation phase of trading, Absolutely. it's never going to go away, but it's definitely cooled off. Absolutely. 
Uh, so I personally think you guys have uh, this u the usership side of the equation. Uh, I mean, it's it's nothing set in stone yet, but it looks like you have uh, a lot that's coming up the pipe. And I'm not surprised. It's a broad spectrum solution. Sorry, it's a specific solution for broad spectrum uh, manufacturing. It's if you've got a machine in a plant somewhere, yes. you can chuck that on, and Absolutely. it's gonna it's gonna track some data for you. That's awesome. We have like uh, we uh, publish a platform where every manufacturer who is interested in in, in, in joining can simply very uh, easily be connected either through that device or through an interface towards whatever uh, IT system he prefers to have. And um, this platform is open to users who say, okay, I have a little invention and I don't know how, how to manufacture it. So we can not only bring you in contact with uh, manufacturers from different disciplines, of, be it textile, be it metal, drilling, milling, uh, glass, whatever, but we also provide the execution environment where you finally say, okay, can you protect my, my IP? Yes, we can. You know, your schematics, blueprints, CAD files that you uploaded. Uh, we provide then a tendering process. Uh, we can find the best uh, manufacturer for your course, be it uh, according to geographic proximity, be it to price, be it you want to have somebody who's keeping social standards or quality standards. And then you can also trigger and, and roll out the production process and follow more or less life how it unfolds. That's fantastic. Just quickly about your ICO. Um, have you had any of your ICO smart contracts audited? Uh, yes, they are currently under auditing. Okay, that's um, good. Yeah, there's a professional company doing it. Who's doing it? Um, there's a company um, called, uh, the, the guy is called Stahl. That's my colleague who's doing it. Uh, I can f forward you some more information if you want that. Well, it's a really important part of an ICO, so know, I'm, I'm glad you guys got that covered. No, no, there's, uh, there's a, a, um, a, sin a sincere um, auditing process, and actually the whole... Um, token model is uh, checked and 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 uh, supported by KPMG in Switzerland. Okay. So we are incorporating this company in Switzerland, uh, which is a very good place for ICOs. Mm -hmm. They are doing a very good job, and we are uh, keeping to with um, all the regulations of the Swiss Finma to be really. I mean, this is a serious project. There are people behind it who have a career at stake. So really, want to want to do a good job and to really deliver a functioning product to our investors. You know, that is our main focus, is the business, the business behind it, not the ICO. The ICO is a means to get the business running, but the business itself has to be profitable. That's great, so uh, just to be clear, this is a project, I'm, I'm here right now talking to you because I have very high confidence uh, in the delivery of what you're saying you're gonna do. Uh, I think it's gonna revolutionize industry uh, in all aspects that we d we've discussed in this interview. So uh, congratulations on getting this far and I wish you the best of luck with your ICO. Thank you very much. Thanks for the interview, thanks for your time, and thanks for being with us. No worries, thanks for being on the show, Marcus. Yeah. So that's uh, Decentro reporting for Decentro Media at the C-Cubed Crypto Conference in Berlin. Thanks for watching, everybody.